All right, everyone, wanted to give you a rundown on crystal lattice strength. I apologize, I don't have my headphones, so I hope the uh, sound is okay. Here's what I'm looking at, crystal lattice. Uh, I'm gonna be looking at the text and homework. Now, you should have watched the PHS crystal lattice video. Uh, I'm actually gonna skip just directly to the answers. Uh, you can have the homework, but I'm just gonna look at the answers and then explain how I got them. So crystal lattice explains how they are formed in three-dimensional shape. Um, talking about lattice energy. And this right here is where we start talking about their charges. Your charges are plus one, plus two, plus three, minus one, minus two, minus three, okay? Um, three is the strongest and one is the weakest. And then we just have to look at how they combine to see how strong or weak something is gonna be. So, um, these also talk about in, this comes in handy. This is a family, <clears throat> okay? Uh, so we see a trend as we go down. We see that these are increasing in size and as I go left to right, we start seeing that they decrease. So that's really important that you make note of this because this is gonna come up down the road, okay? Um, let's move on to these questions again. Uh, Crystal Lattice homework answers here. I'm gonna switch colors on you. Um, okay, so here are the answers. It says, which one has a stronger lattice energy? Which one has bigger numbers? So if we were just gonna list out, so like a plus one, Minus one, that's really weak. And the strongest, weakest, I'll say. And a plus three minus three is the strongest. And then I have combos all the way down. So you have plus one, minus two, minus two, plus one, minus two. Oh, I switched my minuses and plus, sorry. Minus two, plus two, uh, plus two, minus three, minus three, plus, or ah. Silly Mr. Sconey, minus two plus three. You get the point, okay? Um, so plus one, minus ones are the weakest, plus threes, minus threes are the strongest, and we can rank them. So let's rank these. I have to get charges. Plus two, minus one, plus two, minus two. Mr. Sconey, where did you get those charges from? I was on my periodic table. I found calcium. I found it's a plus two. So calcium here, that's how I got to be a plus two. And then chlorine over here, minus one. Okay, so that's where I'm getting the charges from. Okay, nothing new. Uh, if you're still stuck on that, that's something we definitely need to talk about. Okay, well then I have to look at my charges here. I have a plus two minus nine. No, what I'd like to say is I like to add their absolute value. So I simply say two plus one equals three and two plus two equals four. So I'm adding their absolute values if you want to get into the, the math of it. So this one has a larger total, so that's why I have a stronger charge, okay? All right, let's look at, let's just skip down, uh, oh, whatever. Let's look at D, because D switches things up a little bit. Again, sodium plus one. PO4, well now I have to go to my ion list. I have to find PO4. PO4 is a negative three. And then I have K plus one, again PO4 minus three. Oh boy, okay, now we have an issue. Okay, and I'll put these off to the side here. Plus one minus three and a plus one minus three. So I have two plus one minus three, so now I have a problem. Well, if I go back and look at these two, let's erase this, they both have PO4. Okay, but now I have to find Na and K on the periodic table. Okay, well let's do that. Here's Na, here's K. All right, let's keep that in mind. Na is above K. Well, we already talked about this. Oh. Na 
is above k. Okay, um, so when we look at this, all right, it gives us this note. Smaller ions at top, they have uh, more, they're stronger, okay? Um, so let's write this out so we can have this. These are the strongest, and these are the weakest. So I understand that they have the uh, weakest, not west. I understand that they're bigger, but that means they're weaker. Now we could get into uh, lattice energy. We could get into it's the, the magnet and the paper example that we've talked about in the past, and you have the electrons are further away, and yada, yada, yada. But what here's the best way I explain it. As I go up, uh, the higher I am, higher equals higher charge. So the higher up I am on the periodic table, the higher the charge I have. Okay, so if it's between Na and K, back to our original question, if it's back between Na and K, well, Na is higher on the periodic table. And since both of them have a... Uh, plus one minus three, since Na is higher up on the periodic table, that has a higher charge, okay? Now, when we get to this question, this talks about melting point, okay? So the general rule of thumb is uh, larger sum, and by sum, I mean this uh, adding the absolute values like we did before. So that means the larger the sum is the stronger. And stronger equals uh, higher melting point and higher boiling point. Okay, so those are interchangeable terms. So it's the same exact questions as we did before. Okay, if I arrange them. Well, all I'm doing here is I have to get all the charges first. So let's get the charges. Plus 2. I'm just going to write the, the charges. So this is a 2-2. Two, two. This is a 1-1. One, one. This is a 2-1. Two, uh, and this is a 2-2. Two, two. Okay? Um, and again, if you don't know how to get those, you have to go back to how to get... Look at the periodic table. Look at the plus minus above those, and that's how you do it. Um, and now I rank them, okay? So this is my weakest one, okay? So now that I have these numbers, I could say this. Well, let's say uh, this is a total of four, total of two, total of three, total of four, okay? So I have my uh, weakest one, and then I have this one, and then I look at uh, these two. These are the two in question, C, A, and B, O. Well, they both have O, C, A, and B, E. So I go back to my periodic table. Ah. And I find CA and I find uh, BE, which is right here. And so this is my higher one. So the higher it is on the periodic table, the higher the charge. So that's why this one has the higher charge because it's higher on the periodic table. Okay, so a couple sample problems for you uh, to look at um, to help you with those problems. And now you can hopefully do quick quiz seven, uh, but there are plenty more practice problems and there are pages in the packet that you also could work on for help.